Mexican restaurant La Barita has been popular amongst people of Berkeley for nearly 30 years. Then, this January, super chain Taco Bell moved in next door. Is this town too small for the two of them? Today, I'm on Berkeley's Sproul Plaza to try and find out. I'm Max Brumelo for Cal TV News. So is it Taco Bell or La Barita for you? Fuck Taco Bell! <laughs> I'm gonna say Taco Bell. La Barita. Uh, La Barita. I would say neither and that Berkeley needs to step up their Latin cuisine. What about Taco Tuesdays? Do you think that La Barita needs to offer alcohol? I would, yes, yes. Um, I don't think so because I feel like everyone that goes to La Barita is already like really pretty wasted. So I think like it's already done beforehand. So I don't, I think they're good that where they are. <laughs> So, is this a victory of capitalism over the working man for you? <laughs> Maybe, but like, talk about also some like good icy freezes, so that's good too. <laughs> it's dangerous, uh, it's greedy, it's not healthy for students. I guess a good thing in a way, just because it, it encourages other businesses to compete more. We need to support the local businesses. Uh, we don't want any chains here in Berkeley. We want to keep our small burrito places competitive. <laughs> is this town too small for the both of them? Is this town too small? Um, I would say yeah. I don't see one like existing and the other one still existing a year from now. I think one is going to have to win and I don't know which one it's going to be. For now, the jury's out on the battle of Taco Bell versus La Barita. Only time will tell if the two can thrive alongside one another. Shall we go and get a pint at Taco Bell then? No. No.